Prova, 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 prova. I am not for changing. You can't just change plans willy nilly. Could we pull over for the other top? Diz Ray, my friend Diz Ray, got new specs. And reassigned to sales where he belongs. Trap that we were married and he treated me not. Whoops. One of the first things that I need to do whenever coming back from a trip is obviously go grocery shopping because my fridge would be pretty much empty <laughs> by the time I leave. I had to go today or I didn't have to, but I decided to go to the closest grocery store, Reva which is usually more expensive than Lidl, but uh, my hand really hurts today and I really didn't want to go to Lidl. Having to walk back carrying heavy bags with me because I knew that I was going to buy a few things. So um, I ended up spending 36.50, I don't know if you can read this. And I decided this time to do a little bit of a different grocery shopping. I'm trying to follow what my um, rheumatologist told me and highly encouraged to do, which is to change my diet. Probably due to my condition, a vegan diet is no longer sufficient. I was recommended to change my diet and this means that with a heavy heart because I really, you know, if it was for me, I would do things differently, but I have to prioritize my health. So it means that my diet will be no longer vegan as it used to be, but primarily vegetarian, I think. And sometimes I'm gonna have to eat fish because the omegas that are in fish apparently are amazing 
for people with um, rheumatoid arthritis. So I am slowly trying to give this a try. I want to be very mindful about eating fish because, um, you know, I stopped eating it years ago. Um, and whilst meat still is a huge no-no for me, it fish is something that can help me with the symptoms and to, you know, improve my condition, then I'm going to have to do it. I still want my way of life and my lifestyle and my way of acting and thinking to be as conscious as possible. And as, you know, try to do my best um, every time. So my best sometimes is going to be 95 and my best sometimes is going to be 40. It kind of like depends on a lot of factors and... I was already eating sometimes vegetarian food anyways uh, due to various reasons that it's too long here to explain so I'll save you <laughs> the whole story. 95% of my diet still was vegan and it was it has been for a really long time so for me accepting to have this chronic autoimmune disease is something that involves a lot in my day-to-day -day life and I'm trying to Think it as, you know, what can I do to make sure that I can live the best possible life now that I have this diagnosis to deal with and to live with for pretty much the rest of my life. Hey, this is my breakfast. You had yours already. It's here. Come on. There it is. <laughs> no, you're not getting anything. I'm too sorry. That's my breakfast. It's my time to have breakfast now. <laughs> I have a friend coming over later and I've been spending the entire day up until now, I think it's 3 p.m. something, sitting in my apartment, either watching something on Netflix and trying to chill because today I'm feeling a little tired for some reason um, or editing my video. So I think going out and Getting a little bit of fresh air is going to help me. <laughs> I have to go back to work in two days. I don't want to sit around and do nothing and then all of a sudden being, you know, in full shock because I haven't done anything <laughs> the previous few days. Um, so I'm getting ready. I'm going to take a walk, get some fresh air, and probably I'm going to stop at a grocery store again so I can get a few things um, to you properly welcome my friend, maybe a few snacks, some hummus, something, because I haven't really thought about that when I was grocery shopping yesterday. But I'm actually really excited about this friend coming over because we haven't seen each other in forever, and I really mean it. So it's going to be nice to catch up.
still feeling woozy. Of course. That's weird. You got a cotton ball and tape and live in your... This afternoon, I had an appointment with a friend of mine. I asked for emotional support, I guess, to go and buy a new phone. Um, I normally really gladly buy secondhand, pretty much anything. And the last time I bought a phone, I bought a refurbished one, which I was very excited about because I didn't spend a lot of money um, compared to a new smartphone. And, you know, I was excited. Let's do something good for the environment. But the reality is that I think that buying things secondhand makes sense in most of the cases, but not necessarily in all of them. Because when it's a matter of buying technology, sometimes you buy them secondhand, but they're performance is just worse than you would buy a thing new. So they tend to last not as good and not as long as new ones. So think about the fact that I bought this very phone. I'm sorry, this is just a dental stick for my cat. <laughs> She's just playing with it. Um, think about that I bought this phone, this very phone that I'm using right now to film less than two years ago and the battery life is already horrendous um, not to mention that sometimes it just gets stuck and it freezes out of nowhere and it's just weird and it's really frustrating because it was supposed to be something that i have invested you know for the long term and so I told myself it's better to buy a new one that really is just mine and it's going to last me much longer than the one that I bought two years ago and here I am replacing it again. So um, I bought a new phone today and I literally have felt the moment I've paid with the my, with my debit card, I literally felt, you know, the vacuum cleaner um, sound like <laughs> money getting sucked out of my account but you know that's that's what happens and that's why i think it's important to live as frugally and as simple as possible because whenever you have something coming up then you're kind of like covered i want to be careful with my expenses for the next six months or so i think that going through a no spending challenge or to trying to save as much as, as possible challenge is particularly i'm not gonna say easy but it can be easier during winter because i know that in winter i'm more naturally drawn to spend time at home because you know it's cold it's dark i don't really want to be outside all the time so i know that for now after my holiday and after everything if i know that for the next six months i'm gonna be very careful and not buy anything that it's more than necessary for me to live. I know that I can quickly or as quickly as, po up as possible replenish my savings account. I guess that being responsible when it comes to your savings and how you manage your money is not a matter of not really buying anything, but being conscious about how you spend it, how much you spend, and, you know, just being able to always be prepared no matter what. And be conscious of the fact that, okay, I bought this, so I'm gonna be careful and I'm gonna say no to this and this, which is not exactly a priority, so that I can have more money on the side if something like a big expense or something unplanned happens.
Zingi. Hmm? Will you calm down? Hmm. Pretending like everything speeches and she did nothing. And you happen to be visiting the Lackawanna Trunk Museum. And you. Please? Pretty please? Come on. No. Ah, ah, ah. Ow! What was that? No. Come on. No. I didn't know you were a wrestler. Dee, 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 dee. Ah, come on, Ju, Ju, Ziggy, Ju, Ju. Editing Jen here from the future. I know you're all sitting on the edge of your seat asking yourself what happened to the washing machine? Where are you able to get it fixed? Well, let me cut to the chase and tell you that unfortunately, no. My washing machine couldn't get fixed and I had to buy a replacement for it. It wasn't pretty and most importantly, it wasn't cheap. And of course, something like that had to happen exactly the same week in which I finally take the leap and decide to buy a new phone because my old one was sort of like starting to quit on me. Life is a bitch, let's be real. Um, they Stuff like that always tend to happen. They're really... There never is a good time for that. Those things always happen in the worst possible moment. Being prepared and putting money on the side is key. And how can you achieve that? There are a lot of um, you millionaire YouTubers out there who like to brag about the importance of saving money. Well, thanks a lot. Well, you probably have like a six zero income every month. I don't, but still I am able to put money on the side and being prepared and knowing that I have something on the side that's going to help me through moments like this it makes me feel a little more hopeful about the future. I think it's really important to be conscious about that, to know how much money you make, how much you put on the side, how do you spend uh, your money, how much, and all of that. And I'm not trying to put any pressure on you or to put any anxiety on any of you because I don't wish that for myself or to um, any one of you watching. watching. But um, if you're not prepared when an emergency happens um, and you don't have enough money to take care of that, well, that money is not going to magically manifest in front of your eyes. 
let me tell you. So the only way to achieve that is to be mindful with your money, save and be prepared and learn to prioritize and that's that. There's no magic fancy secret. I know that I have a very normal job. I don't have a fancy income at all. And sometimes I am very hard on myself and I think that the money that I put on the side is not enough. But the reality is that maybe there are a lot of people out there who make much more money than I do. And they probably, if something happens, they probably cannot take care of it because they spend all of the money that they get and they live paycheck to paycheck. So... For me, knowing that I have this little thing on the side where I can take money from if I want to have something fun, like, I don't know, a holiday or going to concerts, which I love, or if something like this happens, uh, for me, it's very important. And again, learning to prioritize is absolute key. So that's why I think it's now much more than ever uh, important for me to um, buckle up and for the next six months or so. So I'm thinking October to March to, you know, just stick to the essentials and I want to replenish that savings account. And I'm pretty confident that I'm going to do it. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just hope I can inspire you to do the same and show you that you don't have to have a fancy job or a fancy income um, to be able to take care of that. I guess I'm signing off for now. I think you got the point. You're smart. Bye.